hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl shalom daniel edu and i'm here again to do another love video this month is going to be love content bumper to bumper now i'm going to talk about something very interesting but before i go on if you are just seeing this channel for the first time we have your feeling we have missed you welcome to this family this family of lovers <laughs> like our videos subscribe to our channel click the notification bell so you get the gling glum whenever we put up a new video yes guys this channel is a place to be please try to comment on our videos tell us what you've learned teach us something on the comment section thank you guys so we dive right in today we'll be talking about <laughs> a very interesting topic i watched a movie some years back and the title of the movie says give it a year i really didn't understand why a couple were just getting married and someone was saying the title was not give it a year so i really wanted to see the movie to the end but now i'm married and it will be six years soon and i understood why it was tagged give it a year another story about a couple that got married from two wealthy backgrounds they were very rich i my dad told me the story years back and he said at the wedding reception this same like 20 years back they had gifts of all sorts the souvenirs were something that everyone was scouting to entry enter the wedding venue for but the wedding did not last three months now the reality and what no one tells you is that after marriage no matter how the both of you love yourself if you didn't enter into marriage with the it must work mentality you'll be out in less than a year and so that's why i think they tagged that movie give it a year the first year in marriage i feel like and i must say is the most difficult year in your marriage if you can go through the first year you discover that it rebrands your perspective of thinking now before every young girl walk into marriage she has the romeo and juliet thought in her head yes i say this because women were thinkers and in our head we build fantas we build castles i feel like that phrase building castles in the air it was designed for women because it is only a woman or a girl that is in love we see a git man that she's dating. <laughs> Don't laugh. Just come with me. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like our videos if you are yet to. And drop a comment if you can relate to what I'm saying. So a girl can be dating a security guard in someone's mansion. The guy is staying in just a small space to room. And this girl might leave her father's duplex or leave her own duplex and in her brain she meets this man she's in love with him and probably because the man is doing his security job diligently or god knows what made her fall in love she designs in her head that oh this small space she can design that small space to fit her the man and a child just in her head don't ask me how it is how god created and formed us we know how to make a little look so large i feel like that is why a woman can take just a semen mix it with her egg and she produces a child with so many dreams because god has ordained it to be so so now i'm doing this video today basically for us women to talk to girls and also to men the first year in your marriage is a year for you to unlearn about each other relearn and make life-changing decisions now 
your husband or your boyfriend before he became your husband was chasing just you as a purpose, as his goal at that point of his life. He gave you all the attention. So it was easier for you to feel like you can't wait to spend the rest of your life with him. He spends, he spends, if he had 500 naira, he knew it was just you he was attending to. Then you were not in his home. So you were not helping him think as you are now that you are living with him. He might decide to give you 300 naira from that 500 naira. And chill with his 200 naira. You are enjoying it. The first year in marriage, we teach you that, babe, what we have is 500 naira. We have rent to pay. We have, we have savings to make. And so it is in that first year, you might, if you don't know how to balance it, you start hating yourself instead of loving yourself. Especially when you marry into a place, into a man's life where his plenty days has not come. Like his abundant days has not come. It takes the wisdom and the grace of God and the knowledge. Like this video, if you watch this video, I think it will, in a way, prepare you for your first year in marriage. I remember my first year after I got married. We had a lot of adjustments to make. I remember one of the major things that made me cry. Yes, I forgot to add your first year is the year where the man will be like, what, what? Did, I did I marry this girl? And the lady will be like, oh my God, if I knew you were like this, I would not marry you. I did that a whole lot. I remember the first year, I'll be like, Babe, if I knew this was how you were, I wouldn't have married you. Oh my God. I don't even know if I made the right choice. And after too much blackmailing with the crime, my husband would just answer, mm, this is me. This is reality. We are married and we can't change it. And I will so cry. I will cry. If he offends me, I will cry. When I finish crying with my red eyes, one of the occasion, my younger brother came visiting and I just finished crying. Guys, please let me tell you why I cried. My husband and his friend went to visit another friend. And this time I think I was pregnant for my first child. Now, he went in the afternoon and it was already seven he wasn't back yet and i know my husband that he doesn't keep late night and so when he came i was pissed i was talking and then i started crying and he was like ah i just but i told you where i was going to ah i was crying i cried he was pissed he said what is wrong with you so i can't go out again and then i overreacted and i kept crying guys i was thinking brother will come and tell me sorry as usual my first reality check. My husband told me, please stop blackmailing with your tears. Don't don't even go there. That was like my first reality I had to swallow. That this guy, this thing, I saw a trace of this thing when we were dating. So it will not change. Yes, nothing changes. I have a whole lot of such experiences I can share. But if you are married and you can relate, drop a comment. Like these men, when children start coming, things change. My friend came to me in her first year in marriage. She would come to my shop and she would talk and she would start crying. Uh, but then I was like two to three years in marriage. I had two kids already and I was feeling like that boy. When she was crying, I was like, sorry. When she finished, I was like, mm. my sister cried. Cry, oh. You will keep crying until one day you will look yourself in the mirror and then you will say to yourself, like I did, I say, Shalom. You're a strong woman. You see these tears? James will not see these tears again. I'm a strong woman. <laughs> Guys, it's very hilarious. But then I did that. Not because my husband was a bad person. I feel like the reason why we cry most times when 
we get married that first year the reason why there are tears the reason why there are regrets is because of too much expectations when you enter into marriage with everybody enters ma into marriage let me not even say when everybody enters into marriage with too much expectations we expect to see a romeo we're expecting to see all the attention we got from the relationship the in love period of our relationship but they can try we can try to keep it up but it won't be exactly what you expect guys so don't expect too much now for me the reason why i cry i don't know about other persons but the reason why i cry is because i had my expectations boiled up in my buckled up in my head and it pained me <laughs> to, to settle for the fact that each time I cry, they will not tell me sorry. And tell me like I see in Hollywood movie that, oh baby, I don't want to see your tears. Oh, that broke me. I felt like, so this man is not going to tell me sorry. So he's seeing my tears and he's comfortable with it. I was so pained with the fact that my 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 illusions all what i expected him to do whenever he saw my tears he was not doing it and for me to stop crying i had to let go of my expectation and face my reality in a nutshell the reason why we cry in our first year in marriage is because we come with so much expectations we feel like he should know he should know she should know no, no one is a mind reader in marriage. Men are not mind readers. Better women, we can suggest, we can initiate such things like this should make him happy. But that is not men's school of thought. So, if you are a bride just about to get married, don't be scared. Just know that what marriage is like a parcel that you ordered for but are not sure of what you find inside the parcel but if you find lime in the parcel make lemonade out of it if you find sugar make something sweet out of it if you find something sour mix it up and bring out a beautiful cake of course in a cake there are so many tastes thank you for watching if you've been watching and you've not dropped a comment please drop us a comment if you've been watching and this speaks to you and you feel you want to say it in up to why not teach us in the comment section i say nobody's an island i'm not the only person that will be talking on this channel i need your comments like our videos share with your friends don't just listen to this alone thank you for watching we love you